today I'm gonna ask famous YouTubers what's the worst advice they've ever gotten when it came to building a social media account. Don't post a lot. Be a travel vlogger. I, I gave up 50% or so of my revenue for like two years. Jake, I have one question for you and one question only. Okay. What is the worst advice you've ever gotten when it came to building your social media account or YouTube? Going on all the platforms at once, probably. Focus on one platform at a time? Yeah. All of them has so many intricacies that how are you going to figure it out all at once, especially as a beginner? Yeah. If I were to bet on one of them last thing, it would definitely be YouTube over yeah. TikTok. Yeah, I think a uh, long-form video will never go away. Yeah. You have a lot more influence over your audience, in my opinion, compared to like a 30-second video. Yeah. It's more memorable. People yeah. know you better. Yes. Thank you, Jake. Right. Rohan. What's up? One question for you and one question only. One question for me? Yeah. For me? Yes. What is the worst advice you've ever heard about building a TikTok channel? <laughs> what? <laughs> he only gets good advice. I, I literally, no. He I'm hangs out with Mr. Smart Beast. People. Yeah, you literally, I think so. <laughs> I don't want to keep doing the same trend or the same format over and over again. If I do it again, we got to either raise the stakes or we got to make it interesting in some different way. Don't sacrifice originality for consistency. All right, let's go. There you go. Wait, quick question and one question only for you, Sean. Okay. What is the worst advice you got in when it came to building your TikTok account? Oh God, um, uh, uh, don't post a lot. Someone was trying to tell me to, you know, spend more time on uh, quality, which is a great thing. Quality is great, but on TikTok, it's all about learning as much as possible by posting as much because you won't know if you don't try, right? So that's what. That's probably the worst piece of advice I got. Thank you. Swag! Some of the best advice I've gotten is to always post consistently. But Jade, how do you get all your YouTube video ideas? I've been using VidIQ for years and they actually invited me to VidSummit. So thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video and having me in the VidIQ fam. I love you guys so much. VidIQ is a tool for creators to get more views on their channel. They launched a new feature called Daily Ideas. Daily Ideas gives you up to 50 daily ideas. And let's go check it out right now. What is a content creator? I like that and I hit save. Since my channel is all about the creator economy, it suggests me topics around that niche. And obviously not all 50 ideas are perfect, but it gets you thinking more creatively and gives you more options if you're stuck. VidIQ uses AI to personalize recommendations to grow your channel. It literally tells me how many people come to my channel from these keywords and the watch time from them. So if you've been posting videos for a while and you're still not sure what videos to double down on, check out VidIQ so you know what's up. Use a link in my description box if you want to learn more. Now back to the video. What's the worst advice you've had in general about content creation you've ever received? Be a travel vlogger. Like, limit yourself to like one, one vertical, niche. one oh, really? niche. Yeah, that was the worst advice. Who gave that to you? Do you know? Was it like a YouTube person? Uh, no, like friends. friends? Some okay. friends, yeah, yeah. But I probably don't want to say who. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Figure out your strategy right off the get go and spend a lot of time making sure that your vo voice, your why is perfect before getting started. Did you ever do that or do you, do you feel like you pushed through that? I pushed through that. However, a couple of times I tried switching my niches and I'm still actually trying to figure out what niche to, <laughs> to switch to. Same. <laughs> yeah. So now though, now that I've like already gotten over the hump of posting to begin with, it's okay for me to spend a little more time on the why because I don't have the barrier to like start posting. But I think if you're super early on, like spending a lot of time on perfecting the strategy, yeah, it's just a waste of time. You got to get started. Thanks, Luba. Where can people can find you? What's your life of Luba on YouTube? Elliot, what is the worst advice you've ever gotten about building a YouTube channel? Well, actually, Jade once told me. No, I'm, oh, oh. I'm joking. Um, I used to be like a real big number fiend. Like, I would just dive into analytics and, like, I cared a lot about, like, just trying to get high retention and high click the rate, all that stuff, which is important. Right. But I need to focus more on like creative direction and storytelling. What makes a good video? The number is the product that defines a good video. But what makes a good video is not the numbers. It's the pacing. It's the character development. It's the it's the plot. Of course, like we're here at Vid Summit. Yeah, <laughs> they're like yeah, click through rate. Yeah, lots of numbers and stuff being thrown around. That's but like, interesting though. Yeah. Yes, that stuff is important. It'll help you optimize. But at the end of the day, you have to learn how to tell a good story. So the quality of stuff matters as well. I would say that you need to have everything perfect for the first video. Mm -hmm. But that's not the case. And you're not going to be able to make it perfect. Your first 20 videos are going to suck. That's something that people need to overcome is don't be a perfectionist. Experiment. Exactly. Join an MCN. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah, I, I gave up 50% or so of my revenue for like two years for no good reason. So it's a really bad idea. What do they do for you? Nothing. I started helping YouTube content creators probably out of pure spite because I can teach you how to do everything an MCN promises you and not give up your money. Wow, 50%? Yeah, no lie. Uh, the worst advice you gotten recently about building a YouTube channel? Anything that involves spending large sums of money. That's fair. Like, yeah. what are you talking about? Like equipment or like courses or what are you talking about? 
yes. Money can help and definitely in some cases give you leverage, give you advantage, give you speed. But I think that there's nothing that competes with good ideas. There's some broke kid somewhere that's going to have a better idea that none of us have ever thought of that doesn't even need any money and, or someone who just has the artistic talent and that finds the time to just outwork us. Gear doesn't matter. Have you seen that meme? No, gear does matter. Oh, gear does matter? There's physically photos I cannot take without the right lens. It's physically impossible. you seen the iPhone 13, though? <laughs> It's pretty close. <laughs> you say that. <laughs> I don't even have it. I will literally challenge you to a photo shootout if it comes I'm up. not gonna fight you with that camera though. Exactly. I'm Maybe not that way, like this one maybe. If you wanna give the audience the best quality possible, gear can matter because you wanna give them the best audio, you don't want them being distracted by- You don't by want them to use a fucking shitty iPhone mic. <laughs> Honestly, it's like the hustle culture, I think. Just like bring yourself out, bring yourself to the max, you know, put everything that you've got into it until you like die. That's kind of the worst, I think, cause it's like, you need to put yourself first cause you don't have anything else, you know? So I guess that, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. The worst advice I've ever gotten when it comes to building my YouTube channel is making money on YouTube is easy and fast. All you have to do is focus on your click through rate and your watch time. Like, that's the most bullshit thing I've ever heard because the YouTube algorithm is really about timing. You could be doing everything right, but it'll just take time. So my best advice is to have fun with it. I know it's cliche, but you need to like forget time exists and really focus on the process. Channels will go through pivots. Even if you find a really successful channel and you're jealous, like, oh my God, they're so famous. Truth is they're gonna be bored one day or pivot or need a change and that's totally normal. So be okay with a little bit of unknown and just having fun.